Toronto's NBA championship in 2019 was a run that Raps fans coast to coast won't soon forget. A disruption from the routine finals dominance of LeBron and Golden State, that year's playoffs proved we, the North, could stand atop the NBA's highest pedestal. Since his hire as GM in 2013, Masai Ujiri built a championship team by making intelligent, savvy moves and establishing a strong team culture, earning him an impressive reputation as one of the league's most respected executives. The risky, seismic trade for Kawhi Leonard and swap of JV for Marc Gasol during the 2019 NBA season are deals that ultimately pushed the Raps over the hump to NBA glory. However, the years following the Raps championship title have not been as illustrious. After limited playoff success, questions surrounding the current direction of the team and how Masai Yajiri will right the ship have slithered to the surface. Amid this uncertainty, it is important to analyze and grade the moves that have been made by Masai since the chip in 2019. In this video, I'll grade Masai's major moves over the past four seasons, concluding with an overall grade of Masai's work since the championship, assessing whether he's been the exec we know him to be, or if he's lost his managerial shine. March 25th, 2021, Norman Powell to the Trailblazers for Rodney Hood and Gary Trent Jr. Grade, A-. After making few alterations to the Raptors' championship roster, of course, barring the loss of Kawhi, the lack of success in the NBA bubble and stagnation during the 2020-2021 season prompted a change, trading longtime wing Norman Powell. Approaching the trade deadline, the Raptors' front office looked to cash in on his high trade value in the midst of a career season. He was traded to Portland in exchange for shooting guard Gary Trent Jr., a player who has improved while in the Raptors' organization. Trent's ability to put up good production and flourish on the defensive side of the ball has since earned him a new contract extension. So, though the loss of a fan favorite is tough, the Raps came out of this with a replacement for Norm, who has provided excellent defense, been a good option from beyond the arc, and still has room to grow. August 6, 2021. Kyle Lowry to the Heat for Precious Achua and Goran Dragic. Grade B. Though it would have been special to see the greatest Raptor of all time retire a Raptor, it was clear he wanted to contend, and the move to Miami seemed to make sense for both parties. This sign-in trade saw Lowry get a new deal with a competitive Heat squad, and Toronto bring in a young forward in Precious Achua and a veteran guard in Goran Dragic. Now, to say that Goran's introduction to the team was unfavorable would be quite an understatement. Only appearing in five games, he and his big bad contract were traded to San Antonio in a deal that will be discussed later in this video. The big piece for the Raps in this deal is Precious, who has a ton of upside given his athleticism, good length, and defensive versatility in the front court. At only 24 years old, Achua's development on the offensive side of the ball, particularly field goal efficiency and free throws, think game three against Philly, will be key in raising the grade of this trade. So, though the return for the greatest player in franchise history wasn't staggering, this move definitely symbolized the changing of the guard, and the absence of Kyle allowed for a transition of leadership, most notably in Fred Van Vliet taking on the role of starting point guard. The trade itself is a B, but it opened up the door for a new era in Raptors history, and can still be improved if Precious is able to take that next step. February 10th, 2022. Goran Dragic and a 2022 first round pick to the Spurs for Drew Eubanks, Thaddeus Young, and a 2022 second round pick. Grade C+. Losing a first rounder is always tough. Though the Raps managed to dump the expensive contract of Goran Dragic and added good depth and leadership in the recently extended Thaddeus Young, this is still a curious move for the Raptors. Though Young can be utilized as an asset come the trade deadline, his slightly expensive contract and limited death role may not be worth giving up a first round talent, especially given the strong rookie season of Spurs draft pick Malachi Branham. Of course, it's not a certainty that the Raptors would have drafted Branham and the Raps second round selection Christian Coloco still has plenty of room to grow in his own right. The value received for the slide in picks is questionable, but to spin the trade positively, Getting rid of Dragic's contract needed to be done, and Thad can continue to be a good presence in a locker room that had some question marks surrounding it after last season. Scotty Barnes selected fourth overall. Grade A. After an underwhelming and frustrating 2020 2021 season, the Raps got a bit of luck from the draft lottery and were awarded the fourth overall pick. 
Though the consensus number four pick was supposedly Gonzaga guard Jalen Suggs, the Raptors made a distinct left turn in taking Florida State standout Scotty Barnes with their selection. This was understandably met with some backlash. However, Scotty's impressive play, infectious energy, and Rookie of the Year honors were more than enough to sway any doubters. Barnes has become an instant fan favorite and looks to be a player that this franchise can build around going forward. Scotty's selection speaks to Masai's ability to continue to take managerial risks that end up falling in Toronto's favor. An area where the Raptors have seen limited success has been in free agency acquisitions. During the past four seasons, efforts to retool team death have primarily come through minor deals. Players like Patrick McCaw, Terrence Davis, Matt Thomas, Justin Champagny, and Sfima Hyluk were brought in to reshape the bench, but with limited success. Toronto's attempts to fix their issues at center through free agency, such as signings like Alex Len and Aaron Baines, were also fairly uninspiring. However, this past free agency period was a bit of a different story, with the Raps signing FIBA World Cup MVP Dennis Schroeder, as well as Jalen McDaniels. While these moves were made too recently to be graded, it will be interesting to see how these larger acquisitions can impact the Raptors this season, particularly in regards to Dennis Schroeder and the question marks at point guard. Another move that's too early to grade is Masai's final notable transaction since the championship, trading Kem Birch, a 2023 second round draft pick, a 2024 first round draft pick, and a 2025 second round draft pick to the San Antonio Spurs for Jakob Pertl. The Yak is indeed back, having signed a four-year, $80 million extension since being reacquired by the Raps. Though this does fill Toronto's need for a true big, giving up a first-rounder in next year's draft does raise a lot of questions about the direction of this team. A lot of question marks surrounding this Raps team are based on the uncertainty surrounding expiring deals. The contracts of Pascal Siakam, OG Ananobi, and Gary Trent Jr. will end during the 2024 free agency period. However, OG's deal does have a player option for the following season, and he could opt in for another season in Toronto. During the past four seasons, Masai has proved that he can be effective in extending players. In June of 2022, he signed Chris Boucher to a three-year, $35.25 million extension. Boucher is a versatile offensive weapon and shot blocker, and both sides seem to want to get a deal done. Chris will be a good depth piece going forward. The other notable extension from Masai comes in the form of Gary Trent Jr., who he signed to a three-year, $51.8 million deal following the 2021 season. It was crucial that Ujiri was able to secure the asset he received from the Norman Powell trade, especially considering his improvement in Toronto's system. Trent has provided good value for his deal and established himself as an important part of this Raptors team with his extension. However, his contract expires at the end of this upcoming season. What does his next deal look like? And could he become a tradable asset? Masai's ability to keep key players in the six will be tested big time this upcoming season. Until there is more security in the Raps contract situation, the direction of the team will undoubtedly be questioned. At the end of seasons past, it's been clear that the vision was for internal growth to fill the void of Kawhi's loss, and that players taking on bigger roles and more responsibility would lead to continued playoff success after a championship season. Masai hoped that the pieces he had already assembled would get that lucky roll of the dice, take that next step. And though the development of players like Pascal, Freddie, and OG had been positive, inconsistency in Nick Nurse's system and a lack of success left many wondering what Masai's next move should be. Now, with a brand new head coach in Darko Ryakovich in an even more stacked Eastern Conference, what are the Raptors aiming to do going forward? Will they ship out expiring deals like OG, Pascal, or Gary Trent at the deadline? Siakam has already been in trade rumors, and the right returns on big-name players could certainly kickstart a rebuild. Though, with the skill in the lineup, Toronto will likely look to contend in a tight Eastern Conference, which may pose the risk of losing high-value players to free agency, a la Fred Van Vliet. They could alternatively look to retool and shape the starting lineup to better match younger players like Scotty Barnes and Grady Dick, or Masai could opt to make a big splash to propel the Raps to the next level. There are many pathways the Raps can travel down, but it is clear that there are more question marks surrounding the team's future than in seasons past. Overall, I give Masai Ujiri a B- for his work over the past four seasons. Though Masai has proved that he is still capable of winning trades and making risky but fruitful decisions, the glaring uncertainties surrounding the current build of the team and the overall direction of the franchise have revealed themselves as a potential cause for concern. 
This season will be vital for Masai in firmly establishing what team the Raptors are trying to be, and all eyes will be on him to see how he's able to get it done. So, do you agree with these grades? Feel free to let me know your opinions on Masai's most recent moves or your thoughts on this season in the comments section. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to this channel or check out our website for more quality Raptors content. With the NBA regular season underway, there'll be plenty more ball to talk about, so we'll see you there. Peace.